If you are trying to flip houses in Cleveland, folks, I need you to come. Well, I mean, I don't need you to do it, honestly. You all do what you want. But if you want to make sure you're not throwing bad money after good, not overspending, not making big rookie mistakes, you want to be here because I help people like you analyze deals every single day. And today I got a deal my guy, Alfred. Uh, you've been talking to somebody about this particular property. You're thinking about flipping it. You want to know my thoughts on it before you close the deal, brother. And that's exactly what I'm going to give you. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, y'all. I am James Wise. As mentioned, I'm here for you. Today's show is for Alfred. Alfred's an out-of-state house flipper. Uh, this particular property, Alfred, you're thinking about closing this deal, right? Uh, $100,000, right? It's going to be the ticket, right? 2995 West 111th, or I'm sorry, just 2995 West 11th Street, Cleveland 44113. And that's big. West 11th Street, right? This deal's all about location. This deal was marketed as a Tremont deal, okay? And as far as the property itself goes, Alfred, this is like, this is good, right? This is what you want to flip, right? The house appears to have good bones, be in an incredibly desirable, gentrified neighborhood, and it just looks like like somebody's grandma lived in it for like 50 years. So, dude, you are checking all the boxes on your deal right now, bro. You have found everything you need to find. Like, this is what I want to see, house flippers, new house flippers, out-of-state house flippers. When you're trying to get into the game, this is the best type of kitchen to flip. What is it? It's just dated. That's it. This flip looks like it's going to be paint, floors, kitchen, bath. That's what you want, right? In Tremont's... One of those areas that has a ton of, like, gentrified action, new construction. You get, like, you know, mad good stuff. Uh, but that, that right there, that's that's the end of the good news. Because uh, this one is, in fact, going to be a little fool's gold, right? Uh, here's the dealio ski, right? It was marketed as Tremont, Tremont, Tremont. So, like, if this is a Tremont deal, you buy it for 100 Alfred. I don't know, dude. You'd probably be throwing like 50k into it, right? Make it look sweet. Let's call it 75. Let's just say you make it look super sweet, right? You're all in for 175. We sell this son of a bitch for over three. You're in the motherfucking money, dude. That'd be gnarly, right? But it looks like it's like super cool Tremont action, but it's not. It's not really. It's it's like on the outskirts, bro. Like right here, like this neighborhood. It's it's not like it's it's like close, but like where where you're at right here, uh, it's a little rougher. You're not gonna like see those like incredibly high prices. Like I'm not like saying this is a bad neighborhood. Like as a matter of fact, this is a good neighborhood to invest in because you're like right there on the outskirts. Uh, if you were trying to buy this as a rental property, I would say, yo, that's a good deal. Let's do it, right? Uh, but your goal is to flip it. Uh, so just the ARV, maybe one day the ARVs in this little area uh, would support the numbers you would need to make good money on a flip right now uh, by buying this thing at 100K and doing like a 50 to 75K rental. Uh, I'm not saying I don't believe uh, that that will be possible in this location at one point, right? Like you're kind of like, like Clark Fulton borders Tremont, and I love Clark Fulton for real estate investors. But the reason I love it so much, right, is because the prices are so low right now currently because it's still a D-grade neighborhood, and then it's getting a billion-dollar injection, right, from Metro Health. I've talked about that on the show many times, uh, $60 million from Regional Transit Authority, and it borders the gentrified areas like Tremont, Ohio City, stuff like that, right? Uh, so I love it for real estate investors, but that's because you could get in low now, Put Section 8 tenants in there. Get the right price-to-rent ratios to, to support investing in a D-grade neighborhood, the risk you have to take on to do that. And possibly one day at the end of the tunnel, you're going to see massive appreciation. So that's very possible for that. But your goal is to get in, get out. You're paying for your money, right? You're getting hard money lenders or private lenders or whatnot. So 
uh, you know, if, if you were trying to do this as a rental, I'd say go for it. Do the deal. If you were trying to do it where you maybe were trying to hold it for like five to ten years and then try to sell with appreciation at the end of the tunnel, I'd say it's a good bet to make, bro. Uh, but right now, you're not going to be able to get a high enough ARV after doing an event, uh, a renovation like that. So there's just not going to be meat on the bone, right? Just uh, It's on the outskirts, so just the ARVs are just not going to support it, right? Like I know if people pulled comps, you could set it up like do half-mile comps, and you can get skewed, right? Because, you know, you just go very, very close up this way. The numbers go up, 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 up. So if you're unfamiliar with the market, uh, in this particular spot, uh, comps can really sway the data and really fuck you up. But that didn't happen to you, Alfred, because you got me, bro. And that's what I'm here for. So this one, uh, you got to kill the deal, cancel the deal, uh, take it out of contract. Uh, don't do this one. Not a bad property. Not what I would consider to be like a bad neighborhood. Again, I like investing in this neighborhood. I think people can invest in this neighborhood. But in this particular situation, the strategy you're trying to employ uh, in your financial situation currently right now is not going to work uh, for a short term get in, get out. So kill the deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.